compounds and molecules. In this video you are going to learn the difference between compounds and molecules and then you will also identify the formula for different uh, compounds and molecules and then you will also be able to identify how many atoms are in each. First, we need to know what a molecule is. A molecule is a grouping of two or more atoms joined together. So here we have um, the molecule of ozone, which is in our stratosphere, which is our second layer of the atmosphere. And the ozone is one type of atom, which is oxygen, and I have three of them that are combined to make a molecule ozone. So that says it's a grouping of two or more atoms. So I have that, one, two, three. Even though they're the same element, it's a grouping of two or more atoms. So down here, I have carbon dioxide, which is the gas that we emit after breathing in oxygen. So I have two oxygens and one carbon. So do I have two or more atoms? Absolutely. I have two different elements. I have carbon and then I've got oxygen. But it's still a molecule because it's two or more atoms. And in this case, yet again, I have three. So now we need to know what a compound is. Well, a compound is a substance made of the atoms of two or more different elements. So before it was two or more atoms, and this time it's two or more different elements. So on the left we have carbon dioxide. So do I have two or more different elements? Yep, I've got carbon and I've got oxygen. So I have one carbon and I've got two oxygens and I've got two or more elements. So check it's a compound, but it's also a molecule because I've got two or more atoms. One, two, three. So over to the right, I have methane, which is a gas. And so I have two or more different elements because I've got carbon and I've got four hydrogens. So I've got two or more different elements. Yep, carbon, hydrogens. And it's also a molecule because I've got more than two atoms because I've got one, two, three, four, and five. Now let's practice figuring out the number of atoms for each molecule. So here's my model of carbon dioxide, which is a substance. I've given you the formula, which is carbon dioxide, di in front of oxide means two, so guess how many oxygens we have? Two. So let's look at this. Carbons, do I have any numbers after it? Well, the answer is N-O. So we mean, no, we have one carbon. And then when I look at oxygen, I have a two after it. So that tells me I have two oxygens. So what's one plus two? Hmm, three. So I have three atoms in this molecule for carbon dioxide, also known as this compound for carbon dioxide. So let's practice figuring out the number of atoms per molecule um, without the model. So I know my substance is water, so what would be my formula? So let's think about this. What do we call um, water sometimes, just to shorten it up, when in actuality it doesn't. Instead of calling it water, we say I need some, well, H2O. All right, so that H stands for hydrogen and the O stands for oxygen. So when we're figuring out the number of atoms per molecule, I need to look at how many hydrogen atoms do I have. So do I just have H, no number after it. So in this case, hydrogen has a two that is slightly lower than it. It's not on equal footing and size. All right, so I have two hydrogen atoms. And then how many oxygen atoms do I have? All right, so in this case, I just have uh, the, the letter O for oxygen, is there any number over here? No. So that tells me that there's one oxygen atom. So what's two plus one? Aye, aye, aye. 
that's yet again, three atoms to make up the molecule for water, which also is a compound because I've got two different elements. I have a challenge for you. On a piece of loose leaf, put your first and last name at the top. I need you to write the name of a substance, which is sulfuric acid. All right, and then I've given you the formula. Make sure capitals stay capitals. Make sure the two and the four are slightly smaller and lower than the H and the O. Then I need you to write number of atoms per molecule. So I need you to look at that formula for sulfuric acid and count how many atoms make up the entire molecule. So pay attention to the number of each atom for each element and add them up. Take your time and you will be turning this in.